This is a quick video about the Blackboard Text Editor. The Blackboard Text Editor appears anywhere students or teachers can create in Blackboard. If you see only one line of buttons instead of three, you might need to hit this button in the top right hand corner of the menu, Show Less, Show More. So if it looks like that, you only have one row, just come on over and expand, Show More, and you'll see all three rows of buttons. Notice you can do all kinds of formatting here, you know, bold, italics, change the font, change the size, bullet, bulleted lists, numbered lists, font color, highlighting, all kinds of things. Images help make your posts pop a little bit more. So to insert images, on the bottom row of buttons, the second button in, is the Insert Edit Image button to bring in graphics. And I'll show that in a minute. There's a button right next to that, Insert File, that looks like a paperclip, allows you to attach files just like attaching things to emails. Uh, we recommend that teachers not give files to students that way. Uh, we recommend instead that you create a Blackboard item and do attachments to the item, and that way those items get scanned with Blackboard Ally and alternate versions are available. So let me go ahead and show how to bring in an image. So click the Image button. You are prompted to search your computer for where that image is stored. And I'll bring in that one. And shrink this down so it fits inside the video screen I'm recording. So let me choose that one and open it. It's processing. Here's the link. It gives some metadata. And then in another area of the window, you would insert. And that image comes in. If you want to resize the image, just select it, swipe over it the same way as you were selecting text, and you can you notice the image turns blue and you have these little handlebars. You can then resize the image bigger or smaller by dragging things around. Another button that's good to know about is uh, hyperlink. So you can put hyperlinks in these posts as well. So to use a hyperlink, select the text you want to be the link, and use the hyperlink button on the menu. And I've got a hyperlink. Okay. So to, to create a hyperlink, just like you would in a an email or some other document, you swipe over the word you want to become the, the anchor, become the link. So I selected that word, and then come up here to the insert hyperlink button. Let me resize this down so you can see what I'm doing. Paste in the hyperlink you want to send people to. I'll just type in the FCPS website, so http colon slash slash www.fcps.edu. And then I select the target to open in a new window. And the title, FCPS website. That's what people see when they mouse over the link and then insert. And then this link has been made. So that's a little bit about the Blackboard Text Editor. We saw, we demoed the Show Less, Show More button, the Insert Image, image button, the Hyperlink button, and one more thing to be aware of right over here is the HTML code view. That's useful if you want to bring something from outside your course into your course using an HTML embed code.